Hey, it's Steph. This week I wanted to talk to you about the top tools you need to have in your face painting kit. So I'm gonna get straight to it. Obviously the first thing you need is face paint. Now you don't need to go out and spend a fortune on face paint, but what I don't want you to do is get caught in the trap of using the cheap crappy face paints that absolutely fill the supermarket shelves. Go and find a reputable face paint supplier and have a look at what they've got to offer. You can usually get a palette of 12 colours that will give you a nice range, reds, yellows, pinks, purples, golds and silvers, just in a little palette to get you started. The one thing I will recommend is get yourself a really, really good black and white face paint. Now, personally, I will always recommend the DFX black and white because I just find their, the lines with those paints, they're really crisp, they're really smooth. I have never had a problem with DFX black and white, so I will always recommend them. One thing I will say is make sure you get the larger size tub of the black and white purely because you will use those more than any other colour in your kit, I guarantee it. So make sure whichever black and white you go for, you get a larger size tub of those. Next we're going to talk about brushes. So you can get loads of brushes and there are tons of different sizes and shapes out there. But to get you started, what you really need are round brushes and maybe one or two other shapes. So with round brushes, you wanna get a variation of sizes. So this is a size two, a size four, and a size six. Now, it depends which brand you go for. The sizes will be different. They will work different. You'll develop a preference for a, a brand, you know, based on what you're doing. So try a few different ones, but I definitely recommend having a variation of sizes purely because sometimes you're going to want to do big fat swirls and big fat teardrops and a larger size round brush is great for that. Sometimes you're going to want to do smaller, sort of fancier, swirlier, wispier lines and you're going to want to outline your work. So a smaller round brush or a liner brush is great for that. Another thing you're going to want to use your brushes for are petals. So you could use a flora brush like this, which is kind of, it comes to a point at the end. Or you can use a petal brush like this, which is kind of like a round brush, but a bit stubbier and shorter. And with those two brushes, you're going to be able to create some really, really beautiful flower petals. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about are sponges. Now you're going to use sponges for laying down your base work and for doing any stencil work. Look for high density sponges if you can find them. They will normally come in a circle shape. Just cut them in half. Sometimes they do come pre-cut but if they don't it's no big deal. Just chop them in half or you can even chop them in quarters for when you've got smaller faces or you want to do some stencil work and you want to just be really, really neat with your stencil and not go over it, sometimes it's handy to have a smaller sponge for that. But you will find you can get different colour sponges, you can get, obviously these ones are orangey, you can get black sponges, you can get petal shaped sponges which are really great for butterfly wings um, and laying down a lovely base because they go right into the corner of the eye. So there's loads of different sponges out there for you to try as well. While we're talking about sponges and stencils, you can also get these little finger daubers which are great for your stencil work because they're really, really tiny. You can cover a really small sort of area, a little really dinky area. So if you're doing some stencil work and let's take this one, for example, if you wanted to do this star here, you can see it just fits over the star there. So you know, you really, you can really just get that tiny little detail with a little finger dauber. And that leads me nicely onto stencils. So you can use stencils, you can choose to use them or not. 
I love using stencils because I think it just adds a little bit of something extra to a design. So with stencils you can do things like mermaid scales or unicorn horns or reptile scales and it just adds a little bit of texture. These are from a Graffiti Eyes set which are fantastic. Obviously you can see you get little butterflies, little stars, little clouds for if you're doing rainbows and they work fantastically well. So you can pick up stencils pretty much anywhere where you can buy face paints from. So have a go with them, have a play, it's oh, so much fun when you add stencils into your signs. So the next thing you are going to absolutely need is something to wash your brushes in. Now you can get a water butt or you can use, a, I used, when I first started out I used three separate water cups and I would have one for my black and one for my white and one for everything else. I now obviously thanks to um, the current climate I have a water butt where I have one section full of soapy water and the rest full of clean water so I can rinse my brushes and they get a bit more of a deeper clean. You can choose to do that if you like but you will obviously need something to clean out your brushes while you're painting. What you will also find really handy, it's not essential but what you will find really, really handy is having a bucket under your table to throw away your manky water, your dirty water, and you can then refill your cups or your water butt and you've just got that mucky water tucked away out the way. So you can keep refreshing your water and keep using clean water on, on kids. So it's, it's not essential if you're somewhere where you can easily change your water, then that's great. If you're in the middle of a field somewhere, it's really handy to have a bucket under your table. So speaking of water, you are also going to need a water spritzer, something to spray your sponges with because obviously if you're washing your brushes in your water butt or in your cups, you're not going to want to dip your sponges in there to try and wet them to do your face paint with. So you're going to want one of these, just a little one is fine, this got me through three, this tiny little thing got me through three bookings over the weekend, so it's, it's more than enough, you can get a, a larger one if you like, but a little one will do you nicely, just something to make sure that you are wetting your sponges with nice, clean, fresh water. The last thing you are going to need, and probably one of my favourites, is glitter. Now, this, this glitter obviously comes in a little poofer bottle, so you just sprinkle it on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but you can just sprinkle it on. It just gives you a little poof of air and poofs out the glitter as well. You can, if you're just starting out, a nice white holographic glitter will do you. You can very easily fall down the rabbit hole of buying tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of different glitters. You can get the glitter in the poofer bottles, you can get glitter creams, glitter gels, you can get liner glitters that you can just line your designs with, you can get the chunky glitter, the festival glitter, the super fine glitter, biodegradable glitter. It's a minefield let me tell you. So if you're just starting out, just stick to a nice white holographic glitter and that will go with absolutely everything. Give it a little spritz over the face while the paint's still wet and you are good to go. So that is all of the essentials. That's everything you absolutely need to have. Stencils you might not need straight away, but everything else, I would definitely recommend having in your kit from the beginning and you will be able to do such a huge variety of designs with just those basics. So if you would like the PDF guide to go along with this video, I will link it in the description below. Please give me a like and subscribe as it's a very new channel and every little bit of interaction really, really helps me grow. Thank you so much for watching me and I will see you in the next video.